Hello, my name is Exabyte, and today I've made a binary to decimal converter. So you see here we have this big long uh, binary input, and we can like uh, put in a number. Then we can push this command block, and then it'll output what the value is in normal numbers. Uh, then we can um, like get rid of this and like put in like a big complicated number, uh, clear it out, put it through, and turns out that number was 92. And we can put in a different number, just do something like this, if the lever works, there we go, and turns out that is 20. Now over here, I also have a decimal to binary converter. So then if we clear this out and run it, there we go. And now it'll give us the binary value for this. Then if we go and set this to a specific number, like let's say 200, then we clear this out, run it through, and there's the binary value for 200 set this to 255 and then get rid of that and there we go this is the binary value for 255 because um, I, I, I'll explain why it's like this later um, can clear this out now as to why it's like that how this works is essentially Every time you turn on one of these, it'll activate this repeater. Put that out. Then, when you push the button, it fills this with stone. Now, each of these command blocks will then add a certain number to the score. Like this one will add one. This one will add two. This one will add four. This one will add eight. And sixteen, thirty-two. 64 and 128 and then when you put it through then it'll add all of the different numbers together and it'll get the the decimal version of that number now over here this was a bit more complicated because first I had to check and make sure that the number was greater than or equal to the number before subtracting otherwise it would just like subtract everything and it, it wouldn't work but yeah it checks to see if it's greater than or equal to the number if it is then it subtracts that number and does the redstone block over there and then it'll just does that for um, numbers of consecutive half values because it gets smaller and smaller and then once it goes through the end it will be it'll actually have be able to fit every number perfectly into there provided that the number is not bigger than 255 so I suppose like if we do um, 256 and do this it will show up actually let me remove this real quick um, and clear it out so then if we do this we'll notice that number two still has a one left that didn't get uh, subtracted but if it's within the right value then if we clear that out and th it gets perfectly subtracted and actually you might be wondering why it says number number two um, I do that like over here I copy the value from number to number number two in order to make it where you can still keep the value in number and don't have to like uh, give it about you every time you want to do something it makes it makes it a bit less destructive um, well uh, this has been a decimal to binary converter uh, if you enjoyed then um, give it a like and if you want to see more then subscribe and I'll see you next time bye